Sorry to let everybody know today, in this video, I'm about the only thing in it that is sexy. What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Searching for Tone. Today I got a little bit of a video that doesn't really normally get too much traction out there, but if you have a guitar, most likely you need a guitar stand. And I'm gonna let you in on a little hint. This is a good guitar stand that's gonna get you even more guitars because it's gonna help you change from this. You know, you have all these guitars laying around the place. You don't need all these things around here. But honey, I'm a content creator and I need all these guitars. To this. A lot of room here. You could probably put some more guitars up on the wall here. I'd like to thank Stritch for sending me this guitar stand, but I haven't been paid for this video. They haven't told me anything that I had to say or do in this video. So all opinions, still my own. Let's get to the unboxing. Nicely double boxed. They package their guitar stands just like they do their pedals. You really should check out some of our pedal demos that we've done with them so far. So look at this styrofoam they put to surround all the parts. So this currently is on Amazon for $139.99. It holds six guitars. Max weight says 50 kilograms. In the US, I think that's 110 pounds. There's also a 10% coupon right now on Amazon for it. This thing is massive. And everything already has the screws in it, so you really just have to, I guess, unscrew everything and put it together. It uh, has a tiny little instruction booklet, but let's see if we can do it without it. That's pretty much it. I would say look at the instructions ahead of time. It'll probably save you some time and effort as far as setting this thing up, but looks pretty damn good. I think you can get away with setting it up side by side. Although all the pictures I see uh, of the actual guitars is with it front to back. And I think the, the styrofoam that they put here covers it up nicely. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues doing like that. So I'm gonna try setting it up like this. Give you these nice little extra pins too to prevent it from slipping down further. But these uh, locks here, they look pretty, pretty substantial that they'll be able to clamp down without really needing these, but they're always good to have a fail safe. They give you two styrofoam pads here. So it looks like they could be separated. So if you have different lengths guitars and you wanna have it supported, somewhere differently, you can get away with that. I'm gonna turn it sideways a bit so that I can still be in the shot. Let's get some guitars and see how this looks. And there you have it. We have three sets of guitars, six in total, side to side. If, it, if you can, have it mounted like this, and I will check, and I'll leave it in the description if you can't. But there's enough room to grab one of the guitars in the middle. And take it off just like that. I'll give you some B-roll footage now. And most of the guitars, they're not even touching the styrofoam. So let's see if that has anything to do with it being from front to back. I don't think that really matters. Yeah, I don't think that ultimately made a difference. Maybe the foot paddles down when they have to be evened out, maybe that will make it so that they touch a little bit better, but I think it looks pretty damn good. And now there's so much more room around here for activities. The missus will be happy that they're no longer laying on the floor. Let me know what you think about one of these. There'll be a link down below for where you can get one. And yeah, it uh, seems pretty rock solid, pretty easy to set up. You've all been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.